So my XT now has a CGA card, but it has a bit of a problem. It's not actually displaying any text on the screen. It's supposed to say XT OS kernel right there. And it was saying that, and I actually saw the fault occur. The, uh, the text started flickering in and out and then disappeared altogether. It hasn't been seen since. Um, that symptom suggests uh, possibly a problem with the character ROM on the CGA card. Um, so I thought I'd do a little debugging and see if I could fix it. But unfortunately, I don't have an oscilloscope. So here is the technique that I used to try to figure out the problem. I've spliced the output from the CGA card um, and added uh, a resistor there for uh, 470 ohms um, with, a, with a probe wire on it that I can use to uh, poke at various bits of the uh, uh, various lines on the CGA card and um, uh, uh, see what signals <coughs> are occurring where. So the, uh, the, the character ROM is, uh, is right here. So I'll, look, I'll point the camera at the screen so you can see what's going on. So let's see, that's pin one. Uh, so that is one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, address lines in the ROM. That's one of the uh, bits of the the character that's being displayed. Um, so there's data going in there. That's good. Uh, same there, different character. Same there, different character. You'll notice it's losing vertical sync. Because the uh, um, the data is interfering with the uh, with the sync patterns, but it's uh, because the cursor signal is still good. I can I can still see what it's doing. So all these all these character lines look okay. Then here we've got the uh, high bit of the character row address um, and the middle bit and low bit. So those signals are good. And um, see here we've got the uh, the output lines of the ROM. So the ROM is actually generating character data, which is good. So that suggests that it's not actually the ROM that is at fault at all. screen looks yellow here because the this is the clock signal to the character ROM and it uh, occurs at the same frequency as the NTSC color burst signal. So that's why that's yellow. And, um, so the ROM appears to be okay. So the output uh, character signals from the ROM go into this shift register here which is a 74LS166. So let's take a look at the signals coming into and out of that chip. Uh, so let's see. That's one of the character bits. That's another. 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 Clock signal, which is too high frequency to tell what is uh, to, to see on the screen, it should be uh, 7.16 megahertz. And I checked it with my multimeter, and that does indeed appear to be correct. That's the uh, enable signal. That looks right. More character bits, and then this one should be the that one. This one should be the output, and there's nothing there. So that suggests that this shift register is is not working correctly. So all the input bits are there, all the other lines look right. It's just not that. It's the output of that shift register is not showing anything. Um, so it's either the output of the shift register or the input of the chip that it's going into. Um, so we should be able to check the input by driving that output line high 
And when we do that, let's see, let's drive it to five volts. And yep, we got a white screen. That's good. So the it does indeed look like the shift register is faulty. So I'll replace that and we'll see if it works.